I'm working. And when he's up working at 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock, I'm working. I don't want to leave nothing in the sport to say I wasn't the best. So no matter what the writers say, I don't read it no way. It's not my focus. I don't go, I don't watch my fights. I don't have to. If, and if I do go back and watch it, I criticize myself and say, you know what? I could have got better in that department. I only can get better. And I'm still learning in the sport. No fighter in the history has been in more bigger fights than me. No fighter in history has beaten more champions than I be. But is it over? Absolutely not. Today, I'm going to push myself. I'm, all, I'm always going places mentally no other fighter can go. You know why? Because they're focused on other things that's not important. What's important to Floyd Mayweather? Family. The legacy. We prize fighters. So of course, we, we have to fight for the prize. But I couldn't choose to do it in a better place. The hotel is going to have to put money there. And I, I just want to thank Richard Stern and the whole MGM Grand staff and thank Showtime. And a guy like Al Heyman is a guy that I should have been with from the beginning of my career. I couldn't choose a better guy for the job. I couldn't choose a better guy for the job. I know everything that goes on. What my opponent is doing, what he's eating, what moves, he's, what moves that he's making. No different from Berto. He went to the boxing gym last night. His weight was low, so he didn't train. <laughs> Every move that you make, I know. This is called chess, not checkers. I'll see you guys set. This concludes our press conference. I like to pose the fighters.